we are actively celebrating the completion of the stage one of the Stahl Underground Physics Laboratory and what an amazing project this is. It has to be underground, needs to be free of cosmic radiation in order to do the detection necessary if you're going to detect dark matter. This project was supported by the Commonwealth Government, we're deeply grateful for that. Uh, but there was also money given by the Victorian State Government through the Department of uh, Jobs, Precincts and Regions. Uh, and it couldn't have happened without their support. Arita Capital Partners and the Stahl Gold Mine have been extraordinary. I think it's a sort of example of a project in which the academia, industry, community uh, come together. This is a remarkable example. We should all be proud of that. And we certainly are at Melbourne Uni. I thank H. Troon. Uh, what an amazing job you've done and had the chance to meet some of them this morning. Having just come from the mine, I'm, you know, gobsmacked at the challenges that must have been faced and the precision with which the infrastructure has been laid down. And I think that is a testament to your skills and I thank you for that. The research partners have established a company, Supple Limited, a remarkable collection of brilliant uh, scientists taking on a fundamental problem that is conceptually amazing thing to grasp, the idea that more than 80% of matter is invisible to us and we need this type of sensitive detection apparatus and kit in order to detect it. Uh, I just give all credit to the work that has gone on uh, here. It's so important that regional towns like Stahl are the centre of the universe. It is about collaboration. Collaboration is what takes us further. That's why the ARC is pushing for universities to work together. It's why $35 million is committed from the Commonwealth Government for the ongoing work here uh, in this laboratory. And I just say congratulations and uh, let the work begin. I look forward to coming back and seeing Sabre and going down that one kilometre one more time. It's not just an investment in a hole in the ground, it is an investment in fundamental science and it recognises the role that fundamental science uh, plays in shaping uh, invention, innovation uh, and our future. So we, we thank you for that. And when I say we, um, Jim referred to Supple Limited, so we have established a company that will operate the entity. And we have five partners in that, the Universities of Adelaide, uh, Swinburne, Anstow, Melbourne and ANU. I think another really important player uh, in building this facility has been the local community, particularly the Northern Grampian Shire Council. You know, they recognised very early on, um, not just this is something you do with a used gold mine, but this is a facility that really does invest in the community and invest for the future. So we thank you for your contribution to date so far, and we really do look forward to working with you into the future. So we stand at a place now where we can build on the legacy of all these physicists in the past. And uh, building on that, we've designed and constructed this amazing new facility that uh, will helpfully take us forward into the future to more discoveries uh, that will continue to contribute and hopefully fill a lot of the gaps and answer one of the biggest questions that we have in front of us. And that is initially, at least, dark matter. It's a question that's so big, so weighty, that it takes up 85% of the universe. And we've got that facility here in store. One of the threads that I think has attracted a lot of the players and the partners to be part of Supple is the potential it, it provides as a, a focus for science in the community. And so we are looking forward to establishing a, an outreach centre in town to leverage not just Supple, but you know, to really point to what science, technology, engineering and maths can do uh, for uh, education, but also for growth in the community more broadly. So the initial focus um, of the laboratory is, has been very much around fundamental physics and dark matter. Um, it is a resource that has a lot of potential going forward. Um, we've been talking to people in quantum computing, uh, biological experiments. You know, over time, there's much more for potential for it to be, as Jim says, a truly national resource. I think the um, program started off with the response, you want to do what? And uh, here we are eight years down the track with a very enthusiastic uh, community. So I reflect on that. I'm very, very proud of what we've actually achieved and who we've actually worked with along the way. The academia uh, that are represented here today with regards to putting an underground physics laboratory in at the Stahl Goldman's facility. Dark matter. Detection 
will you know, trigger a new way of thinking about physics. It will challenge the standard model and our thinking about how the universe has been put together. And that has captured the imagination of the public. It's captured the imagination of our schools and has got to be a huge force, we hope, in driving young people into science as a career. And if not, at least inspired by what science can do as an expression of the human imagination.